coming and stirred up the dead for thee. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to explain this in a minute. I want y'all to hear this. It's a revelation of this. I'm going to read it again. Hell from beneath. What is hell? In beneath. It's moved. So not only hell has enlarged itself, but it moves. It moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirred up the dead for thee. Watch this. When men's souls arrive at the gates of hell, there are demon powers that stir up the souls in hell. To take the souls in hell to the gate. Remember what it said? Hell is moved for thee. Take souls in hell to the gate to watch folks arrive. Y'all this y'all don't mean y'all. Hell from beneath is move for thee to meet thee at thy coming. Souls is being thrown in hell and demons is causing souls that's been in there to meet folks at their coming. That's mama, that's daddy. I remember the, to meet you at your coming. Don't you die no meat. Let me tell you, some folks going to die and open their eyes in hell and at the gate you're going to see somebody that you hung out with. The, party you, the person you party with, he said the dead going to meet them at your coming. Hell from beneath is moved. To meet thee at thy coming, where hell. hell. Jesus is the night, Father God. And so souls is moved at the gate. They ain't coming out. They still burning, but he's still. I don't know how far the gate is. Maybe the gate. See, some people gate might be lower than others. Right. Your interest might be on a deeper level than others. Mm. But whatever level that is, he, he met him at the gate. Oh, these, it might be somebody you influenced to sin. Uh, you caused that soul to go to hell because you wouldn't do right. Y'all don't like this tonight. See, demons don't like this kind of talk about hell because this is where they going. The false prophets, the beasts, and Satan themselves should be cast into hell into the eternal torment. Day and night shall burn forever. I come to tell somebody, get it right tonight. Because it's coming. Playtime is over. Stop sitting there trying to wonder if I really want to sell out or not. If I want to let this go or not. I know I'm not, I know I need I know I need to let, let me tell you something. God said you ain't got much time to keep beside what you want to do. Make your mind up tonight. Come on, somebody, make your mind up. I'm not going to hell. I'm gonna live for G. Come on, lift them hands here tonight. I'm not going to Revelation 20 and 14, then 15. You don't have to go to Re Revelation 20, write it down. 14 through 15. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. We just read that. This is the second death, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Is your name written tonight? Ask yourself. If you can't answer that with confidence, you better get it written. Is your name written or have it been blotted out? Y'all quiet tonight, cause y'all better hear me. I was down praying, the Lord said, "Don't expect too many amens." Revelation twenty-one and eight said, "But the fearful." Let me show you how you know you approve for hell. I don't want to hear this tonight. You gonna hear it? I want to hear it by my blessing. You gonna? This your blessing? We too wrapped up in ourselves anyway. Me, my, me, my. What about your soul, baby? He said, Revelation 21 and 8, but the fearful, the people that's afraid to test, afraid to witness, of you ashamed to display Jesus in the world that don't believe in him. He said, you'll be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. You don't want to wear no Jesus t-shirt. You don't want to be caught with no Bible. Come on, because you're ashamed of your Lord. He said, but the fearful, the unbelieving, those that don't want to believe this gospel. He said the, the God of this world has blinded the eyes of the unbeliever lest they should see the glorious light of the gospel of Christ. He said they're blind because Satan got that part of the mind blind. But he said the unbelievers abominable uh oh uh oh you know what abomination is? Anything that is disgusting to God 
He said, if a man lie with a man, like he lie with a female, the law said it is what? Abomination. That goes in the category. Anything outside of divine order that we're doing is abomination. Men entering the men. Y'all got quiet? Men putting their mouth where they shouldn't be on men. Y'all don't like that. Okay. But it's abomination. Women doing stuff with women. God says abomination. He said it's abominable. Y'all don't like this tonight. Huh? Look at that Playboy magazine. Abominable. Watching nudity. Abominable. You're a woman watching naked women on your phone. But I'm going to heaven. No, he didn't. You ain't going to heaven. You're going to hell if you don't repent. Abominable. Y'all don't have to like me tonight, God. Let me tell you why looking at naked things is abominable. Because he said cover the shame of your nakedness. The law says abomination to look at nudity. Y'all don't like this. And if you keep doing it and you don't repent, you're going to this place. They don't preach like this no more because they want to wear friends and influence people. I, the devil is a liar. Child pornography. Look at that little girl. Look at that little boy. Let me tell y'all. Oh, shout out our mouth. Folks that's involved in abominations like this will do anything. Don't let people watch your kids. You know they bound with stuff. Y'all better hear me. You know these folks got perversions. And, okay, I'm about to say something. You know they doing stuff in the, in, in the bedrooms and stuff they shouldn't be doing, but they watching your kid. But God gonna get some parents for dumping your kids in places they shouldn't be while you gonna have a good time. Oh, every violation that happened to that child, God, I'm gonna whoop you with stripes. God gonna get you sick a lot. They dropping their kids off in, in, in places they know it's not healthy. In places where they know perversion is just to go have a good time for the life. And you come back and wonder why your child said they hurting down there. It's because of a Come on, Because God, let me tell you, I hear this in the spirit. The Lord said, you leaving your child? With somebody that's abominable, it's just like committing abortion. You have a chance to kill that child. I can't hear nobody. God gonna get you. Y'all better lift your hands. I rebuke this spirit. Boy, I, I just shot up. Let me tell you, I just just feel in my spirit. It's a demon of death going on. It's a demon of death that's trying to kill kids. I forbid by that foul spirit. It want to kill unborn children. It want to kill children that's in the cradle. But I bind that foul demon. You lose your hole in the name of Jesus. Y'all, it's a deaf spirit, and it's birthed out this abominable spirit, and it's trying to kill babies. It's trying to kill kids because of abomination. You see why it's in the list? You see why it's in the list? And some of these people. They get rid of these kids because it's in the way of their abominable lifestyles. It's in the way of what they want to do. So they're trying to kill them. Because God wouldn't let them kill them in the womb because that's my prophet. I'm not going to, you thought about killing them, but I ain't going to let you kill my prophetess. Y'all better hear me. It is a deaf spirit. Y'all better hear me tonight. It's a deaf spirit. It could be in your house. It could be folks. Let me tell you something. Folks with these bipolar demons. They wonder why they happen. That's why they mad as a bull. You better watch your spirit. Cover your house and cover yourself while you sleep. You'd be surprised who's looking at you while you sleep. Wishing that you was dead. God go get somebody. Man of God. 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 Man of God.
Lord, you preach this word. Blood of Jesus. 100%. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Hey, come on, man of God. And you know what? I don't know why I'm going about here. This folks is dying that know that know your that know people's secrets, cause they end up killing you before you let them ex, before you expose them. Y'all got caught. Well, I'm saying I don't know why, but I hear it. They will try to kill you before you expose them. This abomination spirit. I don't know, Lord. I'm trying to get off this, but. This nasty old sexual demon is causing people's lives and mainly it's hidden children. Well, your baby, I don't know. That's over there somewhere. You know what they call it? It because it wasn't nothing to him but an it. It's in my way. Y'all, hell is real and it's waiting for folks like that. Y'all got quiet on me tonight. Y'all better hear me tonight. You better heed this message. See, you better heed this message. Don't let the enemy make you out of, out of juice before this sermon is over with. Because we get up all the way in the beginning of the service. We are moving, but as soon as the service keep going, we start drowning down. You know why? Because something hitting your spirit telling you, you got to get down to this altar. Let me pay! Abomination. And it's happening. Sexual abominations. And God said, I'm going to get these people. He said, because I didn't create you to love yourself like that. I'm going to say it like this. To sexually love yourself. All right. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like what I'm saying. He sure killed somebody. He let the he let his 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 seed hit the ground right. in the Bible, and God killed him. He didn't let his seed go on the woman. He let it hit the ground, and the Bible called it waste. And that's an abomination. Y'all don't have to like me, but if you don't repent, your soul is gonna be lost. Y'all better hear me tonight. You better ask God to give me the deliverance over this sexual demon that I'm dealing with, God, because I don't want it to cause me to go to hell. Take away the pleasure that I have in it. But it's the pleasure that's locking me up in it. I don't want it, but it's making me love it. Take it away. That pledge is going to damn somebody's soul forever. It's time to get some deliverance tonight. And stop playing these games, coming up to the prayer line, but going home and making no change. Going home causing hell. Hell on earth. God said, listen here. Your, your walk to this prayer line was numb and void. If I killed you in the prayer line, you're still going to hell. And I know your thoughts when you leave here. It wasn't going to change. Come on, man of God. Hey, come on, man of God. Come on, man of God. Man of God, you I, I already know what you're going to do while you lifting your hands and crying. And blah, 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 blah. God's I already know you ain't going to change. But God knows when somebody's for real. I can't hear nobody when you're tired of where you are. You're going to make a difference about it. Then he said murderers. You know what murderers are also? Not just want to take a knife and stab you with. But a boy babies. Why are you killing your child? You know you are. Killing folks in there. Let me tell you, folks will kill you in your sleep. Put stuff in your, your drink. Put stuff in your food. And you wonder why you're getting sick. There's no trace of why. Because you've been in the wrong place. Y'all better hear me. Let me tell you something. Listen, somebody don't like you. Don't let you cook. Don't let them cook for you. Somebody got them flipping spirits. Don't let them cook for you. Somebody raised one as a bull. Don't let them cook for you. You're not going to cook for me. Because if you're a murderer, you nasty. Because nasty folks do nasty things. I can't kill nobody. You, no, it's cool. no, see, don't you cook. You ain't bringing me a Twinkie. You ain't bringing me a honey bun. Hey, I don't care if it's wrapped up and covered up. You ain't bringing it to me. I can't kill nobody. Y'all better hear me. Murderous. Murderous. 
You know what a murder killing relationships that God didn't want you to kill. Poisoning relationships with your attitude and your gossip and your backbiting. That's a murdering spirit. You killing somebody else's character to somebody else is murder. And the Bible said a murderer do not have eternal life abiding in him. It's heavy. I know it is. I know it is. I labored for this. I labored. This came out of prayer. I labored to hear him talk to me. Then God said tonight, take it to the message of the rich man. Murderers. Whoremongers. 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 Whore. Then he put monger on it. Because you go a mongering. Whore. Whore. And I looked up the word whore. It also means male prostitute. But we call women whores. Men can be whores too. Whore. You laying around anybody. You don't matter who it is. Woman, man, boy, girl. You just giving yourself up. Y'all got quiet. Lord, 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 Lord. Let me tell you how you know you, Lord, Lord, no, 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 no. See, some folks who are mongry give them away by how they smell. You unclean. That's an unclean spirit. Whole monger is unclean. You got quiet. You smell unclean because your body is messed up with too many people. Your odors, your body chemicals stinks because you've been around whole monger with folks that you ain't married to. You don't even know their last name. You better know their first name. You better know what the first name, letter of their name starts. With your whole mongering. Men going to jail because they having sex with little girls, and you thinking they older, but they sixteen, but they look twenty. You know why? Cause you a whole monger, she a little one too. Here you are in jail for statutory rape, cause she couldn't stop your whole mongering. Y'all don't like me tonight. You better, you better hear this spirit tonight. I'm telling you all this stuff stuff going to lead you to hell. I don't care how you shout, how much you confess Jesus. You can't be having sex with people you meet at the laundromat and in the grocery store. You just, you just met them. It's Snow White. Some of y'all ready for me to get done. I ain't quite done yet. What's his name? Ah, I think the wrong ring. Ah. Let me tell y'all something about these homemonger spirits. It goes right down to the category of molestation, rape. Y'all don't like this? Rape. And I'm not dealing with the demon part of it. No. I'm dealing with the natural part. And I can go a little deeper if I ain't. Oh, oh my gosh. How y'all doing? Yeah. <laughs> What's next, Pastor? Sure, I tell you. Sorcerers! You know what that is? Witchcraft. It's an evil spirit. You can take your menstrual cycle blood. Put it in a man's food. He don't know he eating that stuff. Here he is wondering why he can't get away from you because you spell tied him. You spell bound him through blood. Y'all don't like me, do you? Yeah, you better love because I know you talk. Y'all but some of y'all looking like what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Wonder why this man can't get his get enough of you. Wonder why this man is wrapped around you because you spell bound him with your blood. Y'all got quiet. You better learn this lesson here from this rich man. Y'all hear me? Y'all shut oh shut oh shut that bullshit. These folks so bad. Let me tell you, Bible says now you shouldn't even touch a woman while she's on her on her purification. It's so bad, folks so hungry for sex they don't care what's going on. Y'all got quiet. 
it's nasty right, but it's how God feels about it when you do it. They are nasty. I don't care. I'm burning. They don't care if it's, it's the time of the month. That's a whoremongering spirit, and it's mixed with sorcery. Let me keep going, because some of y'all getting sick. I'm being graphic, right? Because let me tell you, hell is more graphic than this. Don't you know witches use spell binding spells? I mean, blood binding spells? They use blood to bind you with? Chicken blood? They can't find chicken blood, they use their own. And they say the blood, the blood curses is the strongest blood, that's the strongest binding spell, and you can't break it. It's the strongest one. And you better hope nobody practices it on you. You can't get away from somebody. And you wonder why you can't get away from them. Okay, y'all. Lord Jesus. You try to break, but you can't break. Might be some blood involved. It ain't about the blood of Jesus either. All right. They trying to leave, but you trying to beg them to stay when you want them to go. I think I better stop, brother, because I think I'm getting a little too heavy for him tonight. Getting a little too heavy. I, it's, oh, okay. Thank, 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 all right. It's quiet in here. You know what? Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You're so poised. Uh-huh. I know. You better preach that word. So, so just. But you know what I'm talking about. You know this sorcery is real. Sorcery. Sorcery. You know sorcery deal with medication too. Sorcery deal with drugs. Drugs is sorcery. A drug addict is still dealing with sorcery. That's a demon of drugs. Y'all got quiet. You, y'all, let me tell you something. You watch folks keep trying to get you to take medicine. And you don't need it. No, just take it. Just take it. Just Why you push me to take something I don't need? And it just dropped in my spirit. You know what murders is also? Suicide. You go to hell for this. This is murder. Sorcery. Whoremongers. Idolaters. You know what an idolater is? You love something more than God. I got. I can't. I wish I could preach this tonight, but I. I, I gotta talk to you because this stuff gonna see you to hell. You love your friends more than you love God. You love your wife and husband more than you love God. You love things more than you love God. God said if you don't repent, you're going to lift up your eyes and chill with this rich man. Wow. Gay parade. And the question you asked me, now that she asked, where did he get the rainbow from? You snatched that from the Bible. If they just know what that rainbow means, they'll chunk it back. Because that rainbow means no more water, but there's going to be fire next time. That's what the rainbow represents. Fire for judgment upon your sins. They don't understand what that rainbow come from. That means judgment. No water, but fire. You know what they prophesy in their own doom? When they say rainbow, they prophesy and judgment coming. They prophesy I'm going to hell. They don't understand it. Judgment. Rainbow. Rainbow. We're going to hell. Everybody. Extra. Extra. Read out about it. We're going to hell. They don't know they're going to hell. Extra. Extra. You don't know you. And look, watch. You know what that's like? I'm watching the ape movie, uh, the, um, Planet of the Apes. And, and, one, and one of the one of the gorillas turned on the bad side. And he joined the enemy. He didn't know who he was, so they stamped donkey on his back. He's an ape, but they stamped donkey on his back. He really operating, but he didn't know he was a donkey. He, he know they stamped donkey on his back. They really hold up the gay sign. Don't even know you got stamped on you. Judgment. Judgment is stamped on your back, and you don't even know it. And they spreaded it everywhere. They understand you waving your, you are waving your future of destruction. Y'all better. I feel like preaching tonight, but I can't do it. I feel something just hit me down inside of my back. There's somebody better repair tonight. You better preach that word. 
and all liars. Boys shall have their part in the lake of fire, their part. Everybody got it. Go to hell, you got a part. Should have that part in the lake of fire. But it's burning with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Why do you call it death? Because you separated from God through all eternity. That's what death means, separation. You're going to live in eternity without God. Now I'm trying to finish this up. Matthew 7 and 21. Don't go there. Listen. Matthew 7 and 21. Write it down. I don't care how much you shout. I don't care how much you date. <laughs> Sound like an Indian. If you don't repent, if you don't repent of your sins, and I pray that everybody hear this, I pray that anyone will make nobody comfortable. Hear me! You don't repent to hell. That's going to register. I don't care how they try to blank it out. Yep. It's going to register because God said it. His voice is like many waters. When it speak, it flows. It flows better than a river. And it flows deeper than a sea. You better hear what I'm saying. Hey, you don't go to hell if you don't repent of your sin. I don't care what they say. See, I can feel God got some attention. I can feel it in here. I can feel it. And if you're getting angry, it's because you got a demon you need me to cast out of you. You need more than this touch. No, you come out. What's your name? Who are you? Who are you? It's like, oh, what's in you? What's this? Who are you? That's what you need. You need that bucket. You need them hands laid on you. Get that worm out of you. Matthew 7 and 21 says, not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But as many people got saved. Right, man, they called on the Lord. Wow. But not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right. Amen. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. See, there's a, there's a saving faith to save you. And there's a saving, there's a, there's a faith to live by. As a faith to save you and as a faith to live by. After you save, now the just shall live by faith. You got saved by faith, now you got to live by faith. If you're not living it, then you can't. I'm sorry. Come on, Pastor. That's why a lot of, you got a lot of so-called saved folks in hell now. They confess with their mouth, but they didn't do nothing about it. They didn't live nothing. They snuck, connived, lied, uh -huh. had hatred in their heart, anger, didn't like folks, caused hell on earth, yep. had hate in their heart, and died like that. And many will say unto me, and I'll get through when I get done. In that day, in that day, like today, I know it's long, but hold on. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied? Wait a minute. You mean to tell me it's folks that prophesied in hell now? Yes. Have we not prophesied in your name? Yes. And in our name cast out devils. In our name have done many mighty works. And one day the Lord told me. I said, Lord, how? They working like this. They doing these things. But God said the prophecy you heard wasn't them. It was me. I was the one doing the mighty works. It wasn't them. They wasn't saved. I just used them for the people. I just used them for the moment. But if you met them on the average day, they wouldn't have that kind of power because they was displeasing to me. So I made them available for the people for the moment. Y'all better hear me. Oh, God. See, yes. All right. All right. Let me go because some of y'all choking on me. He going to say, I never, I never knew you. He said, then I will profess I never knew you. Depart from me. You that work. Don't you know sin is work? Sin is work. He said, I never knew you. Watch this. I knew you, you, I knew you when you got saved. But when you backslided, I lost memory of you. I never knew you. Why? I didn't know you. Listen, I knew you as saved, but I didn't know you outside of me. So I never knew you. 
I knew your name, but I didn't know you as relationship. I, I didn't know. I, I never knew you called on me. Many of them say, Lord, Lord, should I enter? If you don't enter, I don't remember you. But Lord, I called you. I got saved. I don't remember that. Because you turned. Y'all don't like this tonight. Y'all got to burn me. I, listen, God, I, I've been talking. Now, I'm telling y'all tonight, it's more than this talking. It's time to line our wheels up with this stuff. If you're going to make it in, let me tell you. Let me, if anybody go to heaven and you see somebody up there tonight, if you go tonight and you see somebody else up there, they're going to tell you. You're going to ask them, how did you make it? They ain't going to tell you, man. Let me have them tell you, dog, how I made it, dog. I already know you. You know what I'm saying? I hung on the side of the streets. Man, I didn't do much. I drunk a little bit. I mean, I... So how did you make it? Man, I just chilled, man, and God took me on up here. And then you're going to go to the next person. How did you make it? I gave up everything. So you mean to tell me you can chill and hang with the kids, the new kids on the block? How are they dance? And you make it to heaven? You ain't gonna make it like that, baby. Y'all gotta have to like this preacher, but somebody gotta tell you. <laughs> but you're gonna have a testimony. I gave something up. Everybody in heaven, Sister Linda, gonna have a testimony. I gave something up that I loved. Do you have a testimony tonight? What's your testimony? Have you given up something you wanted? I gave up this woman, I gave up this man. I love them, but they was hindrance to my relationship. I love them with everything I had, but they was causing my soul to go down. So I gave them up. What have you gave up like that? Let me go. I'm going to go. Because this man, this rich man went to hell because he didn't want to give up his greed. He didn't want to give up his nice purple attire. What have you let go of lately? Demons hate preachers like me. Oh, but a door for to get open so wide, first lady. And the door I'm going to walk through, Sister Linda, I don't have to bite my tongue. I'm going to make them so mad at me until they get saved. They're going to be so mad they turn red. They black as chocolate, but they're going to turn red. Or well, they black as dark chocolate. Well, after that word get done, you're going to come to that altar. I'm going to lay my hands on them. And they're going to get filled with the Holy Ghost. Somebody lift your hands in here. Something about to hit this room. Y'all just hold on. God is stirring it up now. Watch. Something about to hit this house in a minute. Come on, lift them hands and tell the Lord, thank you. You don't have to go. You don't have to go. All you got to do is make a decision tonight. I'm telling I listen, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sitting by the dock of the bay. Watching time roll away. Because that time that's rolling away could be mercy. <laughs> I'm going to stop with this. because I, Listen, I, I, have a, I, I don't think your tolerance level can handle. Yeah, brother, go ahead and take it. I thought you were coming to get it. Go ahead and take it. Y'all. Only one way out. Only one way out of hell. That's Jesus. That's it. The one that people ignore is the only one out. The only one to give you the way out of it. Try Muhammad. He'll tell you I'm down here in these flames too, so I can't help you. I'm burning in this flame. Ask Krishna. Buddha. They burning. They deny Jesus. They deny the, 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 the deity of who Jesus Christ is. Night, somebody gonna have to make that U turn. I ain't just talking about going through the religious motions. But I'm talking about, let me tell you something. Your decision start before you even get up here. Y'all don't hear me. If anybody die out and, and go to hell after a message like this, I'm gonna promise you, every word that you refuse to listen, God said, I'm reserving it for you. I'm going to bring it right back. But when I bring it back this time, there's nothing you can do with it. All this hypocrisy. 
Come out this hypocrisy. Come out this stuff where God snatch his breath out of you. And while let me tell you how, how it used to be in the old days, while that preacher was preaching, he had to call her off the call. They were so convicted. This is a stubborn generation. It's hard. They know God's pulling them, but they just sit there and challenge you and they sit there and look at you. But God got preachers like me around. He gonna reserve us. I'm not biting my tongue for nobody. I don't care if they never call me back again. If God tell me to say it, if God tell me to say it, I'm gonna say it. I'm going to say what God said, nothing more or nothing less. If you say I said more or less, then you added to something that I didn't say. All liars. All liars. It's somebody, it's somebody in here. I'm talking about folks that's claiming to be saved. I can feel it. You claiming to be saved, you still holding on to something. Won't let you go. That's why you can't give him all you want to give him. Because you some got a hold. God said you better let that go tonight. This is revival. I told y'all tonight it's apostolic, didn't it? This is apostolic. Any grudges or anger or resentment, I don't care what it is. You better let that go. Let it go. Let it go tonight. Because it ain't the big stuff that you can see going to see you to hell. It's the stuff that's hidden in that heart. You better learn to forgive real quick. Let it go quick. I learned. Let it go quick. Once it starts getting angry, I got to let it go immediately because it's going to drag on me until I... Ah, God, my soul is required of me. I got to make sure that my heart is right. Oh. Let it go tonight. I'm not moving there. Let this stuff go tonight. Let this junk at the altar. It's open. This altar call, you don't need no special attention. You need God's attention. You need God to talk. Lord, there's some people in here. Oh, while you sitting there looking crazy and you looking now, but see some folks take, ain't taking this stuff serious if somebody need to run to this altar God ain't talking loud for nothing and I'm through the power God invested in me I'm a, I gotta pray because of this message I gotta pray Any God, anything the enemy is trying to bring any kind of death or fatalities that's around the corner, God, I pray you block it. I pray you block it. I, I pray for mercy. Block it, Jesus. Oh, Touch these people at this altar. Father, I pray that don't, just don't let this be a motion. Don't let it just be some religious act, but God, I pray that they come from their hearts tonight to repent to you. Oh God, tonight, God, whatever the sins are, I'm asking you to pardon it, God. I'm asking you to release them. Somebody got to call on the Lord in his home tonight. Call like you know your soul may be in trouble. Call tonight. Somebody got to repent. I can't tell you what to say. You know what to say. You know what to say. Ha <laughs> shut up. You know what to say to God. I can't lay no hands tonight. I'm not I'm not releasing lay no hands. I'm not interfering with nothing. You gotta talk to your God. Lord Court.